Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe Swift, stylist. I am a professional hairstylist and lover of all things fashion, beauty and style. Today I'm here to show you how to blow dry your hair like a pro. So how to give yourself a professional blowout. Big, bouncy volume. So let's get into it. So to begin, product prep is honestly everything. So I have washed my hair. I washed it about 40 minutes ago. It must be 40 minutes ago. And then left it in my Aquis hair turban. Got changed, done my makeup. So now it is just damp. It's lost a lot of that moisture, which is so key. So you don't want to go in and start blow drying straight away when it is super, super wet, because you can give your hair something called rapid moisture loss, which just makes your hair super dry and like you've sucked too much moisture out too quickly. So leave it to air dry or just in your towel um, to take out most of the moisture. And here is where the product prep begins. And product prep is so key for your bouncy blowout. So first of all, I'm going to prep with the IGK Good Behaviour Spray. So this is a four in one spray. It's got your heat protection in, it's a detangler, um, frizz control and shine. So I pop quite a lot of that in. And this is also where you're almost wetting your hair back down again, but not just with water, with all of your products. And then I'm going to detangle my hair with my um, Tangle Teaser brush. And these are really good for your hair. They literally don't pull and you can glide through the hair so easy. Now for a blowout with, that you want body and volume and width, you need products that are gonna give you that kind of guts and that grip to the hair. So first of all, I'm using GHD Pick Me Up Root Lift Spray. And this has also got heat protection in. All of the GHD products have got heat protection in. And here I'm applying it, sectioning off the hair and applying it at the roots quite closely and then kind of coming away as I spray it more like down to the mid lengths. So you don't be afraid of going in with products. Because like, especially if, when you found the right products for your hair, they aren't heavy, sticky, tacky. Okay, then you can even just spray some on your hands. And then almost just massage into the roots to really get that product into the roots. And then next up to add the volume and the body and kind of like the guts to the hair, I'm now using IGK Big Time. Uh, volume and thickening mousse which says double the volume and IGK kindly sent me this so I haven't actually used this one yet but I just know it's going to be amazing because all their products are just incredible so you can go in quite heavy with the mousse really because it is so most of it is just air and the last thing you want to do is kind of completely flatten all of the air out of it which is what a lot of people do with mousses just kind of Put some into your other hand and then just gently run that through the mid legs and ends of your hair. So you can see how my hair is basically wet down again. So that's why also you don't want to be putting all these products on super wet hair because you'll basically just be diluting the products down and they won't work as well. And then lastly, some oil. So I'm going to use the Living Proof Frizz Dismiss Oil, uh, Vanishing Oil. So um, I always use oil on my hair and this one is amazing to use on your hair. It's great for people who um, hate kind of the feeling of oil in their hair because it's so lightweight. Um, it definitely doesn't feel like an oil. But it's really good. Still, even though you want body and volume into the hair, you still want to condition and give shine to the hair. So I've popped a fair amount in there, kind of like one whole, one whole pipette. And then that is just being run through the mid lengths and the ends. Give it that shine and just to give it that moisture, seal the ends. Now for my tool of choice, I'm going to use the GHD Helios hair dryer, And this is in white. And then brush size is also really, really key. So here's kind of my three 
favorite brushes to use so um they're all ghd brushes so here is the size two ceramic the size three ceramic and then the size four ceramic radial bristle brushes so the radial bristle i always find they're super easy to get glide through the hair they don't kind of tend to get um stuck or tuggy because you've got those little pockets of air as well because you've got the pockets of air throughout the brush the brush also heats up and gets hot as you're using it um, kind of the barrel of the brush so that's really great for doing fancy blow dries so i will show you kind of the differences between the three um for shorter or finer hair you're probably really best going with the smaller brush to get a bit more body and a bit more volume in a common misconception with brushes everyone goes for a bigger brush because they think bigger gives them more volume and that's actually false you actually want the smallest brush for the most amount of volume because when you think about it you need the hair to kind of wrap around that brush you think if you're if you're at the root here the hair needs to wrap round quite tight to give it that root lift whereas if you're wrapping it around a larger brush it's actually the hair is quite straight before it's got that bend in it if that makes any sense um so for more volume smaller brushes and for less volume, bigger brushes. If you're not experienced with using RAM brushes, a lot of people would probably feel more confident just with using a bigger brush to start with, just so it doesn't get caught in the hair. My favourite is um, the number three, because it's just, just a good in-between, but I like to kind of mix and match. So to begin with, because I have just popped all those products in the hair and it's kind of gone a bit too wet again, I'm just going to um, put my hair dry on a medium speed, medium heat and just take out some of the moisture from the hair so it's not wet, it's just damp. Pop my smaller nozzle on and then I'm going to section the hair so you want to make sure you've got plenty of sectioning clips and then one of the first things I like to do is section almost like a horseshoe so from kind of your uh, recession points section a horseshoe all of the top of the head so that's just out of the way um and it's not going to get in your way as you're blow drying because this will be the thing that you kind of do last <laughs> little clip and then get that securely out of the way so it's not going to be bugging you then I just like to I just use my fingers for sectioning I take my fingers down to the back of my head split roughly in the back and just bring everything forwards so I can then see what I'm doing and then my first section I kind of like to take it about I don't know I guess bottom of your ear just to make sure you really dry in the roots at the nape of the neck. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my size two brush because my sections are fairly small here. So wrap the brush once around the root fully, just once. If you kind of go any more than once, then you'll find you might get it stuck. And then I'm going to go in on, um, usually I would go highest power, but I'll just go, me go medium power if you're kind of, um, a little bit inexperienced go medium power and just um now you can go hot heat go for the hottest heat to set it in because the hair is um only damp so it's fine to use the hottest heat on just only damp hair if your hair is quite wet then always just go in on the lower more warm heat <laughs> hair with your cool shot button and then most important thing make sure you've got like a little bag of hair grips already um you can even just use normal just like hair kirby pins if you don't have any of these little small ones then two fingers underneath the root wrap that up so you're forming a pin curl and this is probably the most important part of a bouncy blow dry whilst the hair is still warm you need to allow it to set into that shape and then to 
unwind the brush it's almost just like unhook 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 don't just kind of try and pull it out and then the next section is about top of the ear and just take that section in line straight back so you're kind of meeting the back of the head you're not ever leaving the back of the head out you're just bringing everything around so you can actually see what you're doing okay so these are a bit chunkier a bit bigger sections so i'm gonna go up to my size three brush and we're just literally repeating the exact same here so wrap the hair once around the brush so it's got like a full lock on it warm up and dry all the roots first of all and then just glide down and stretch down to the ends rework and rewind back up again Heat, 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 and then cool shot. Okay guys, so here I am looking like a cute little granny. Now we're on to the fun part, the top where you're going to get your volume into your crown and the top of your hair basically. And then you wanna take um, horizontal sections and we'll start at the back um, and then work forward. You will need some arm muscle for this part. That's gonna be my first section, yep. And then I'm just gonna, again, clip all this bit out of the way. So again, just make sure you've got one full lock on the brush. And then we're coming in like this. unravel as you would but then just hold the root i'm just going to give it a brush through just to make sure when i set it that doesn't have any tangles in so that's probably your hardest maybe your hardest one to do okay now i am actually quite wide here so what i'm going to do is take a little section either side there and there and i'm going to do these ones kind of on a diagonal back so you can see just how much difference doing a, a number two the smallest brush makes Okay, so now I've literally got two sections left. So I'm definitely using my size two, the smallest one for these. So I've got um, my long bangs and then just one other section. Okay, 
Okay, guys, last little section. So these are my long bangs now. And I just want them to, I'm going to style them the same way. So almost pulling them forwards and then just rolling back. So I want them to flick back almost like 70s style, but I'm just gonna pin them and set them differently. So it flicks forward like a little rhino horn. We get our little um, no dent clips. And then we pin it where you kind of want that bend in. About eyebrow level, pin it there. So now the most important thing is we want to let this cool. If you're kind of on your way out, you could do your makeup at this point. It doesn't need to be left on for too long because um, the back is cool already, but really just cooling down all of the front and the last pieces. Or if you're in a rush, you can just set your dryer onto a cool setting and a slow speed and then dry, um, dry it in and just cool it down. And that's what I'm going to do now. Then at this point, you can also set in with some hairspray. So I'm just going to use the GHD Perfect Ending hairspray, which has got a fairly strong hold on it. So you don't need too much. And now I'm ready to dress out. So starting at the bottom, because these ones will be completely cool, you're going to take out your pins. So you can really see how much difference the pins really do make for your bouncy blow dry. It just allows it to set in that shape and like further curl and create bounce. volume I've got in my hair it's literally mega you know you can like feel the volume in your hair it feels like it's sticking out so this blow dry is definitely great if you kind of want hair that's going to last you for for a few days and lastly these two little grips so now for finishing products and how we're going to dress it out so I'm now going to dress it with IGK no limit dry volume thickening spray. Not that it needs any more thickening. Just to show you guys, ultimate kind of guess bouncy blow dry. Pro blow dry results. So just get this into the roots and all over. Or you could put in um, a dry shampoo into your hair. But this has kind of got a bit more grit than a dry shampoo. And then I'm just going to really gently, with my kind of um, GHD detangling comb, really gently um, tease, tease the hair out and dress it out. And you always do want to do like a little bit of dressing out to the hair. Um, so you can't see like sectioning patterns in the hair. And now I want to finish it with a few little drops again of the Living Proof um, oil, just the really light one. Just to tame it back down again where you have run a comb through it. And just to add some more shine back into the, into the ends. You can see just how much of a difference that really makes. And there we go. So super bouncy, super volu super voluminous, flicky, loads of body. Like my hair feels so thick and it doesn't feel weighed down by by any of those products that I used at all either. And it just looks super healthy. It looks like just a professional salon blowout so i hope you guys give this blowout um a go let me know in the comments what you think i would love it if you could like and hit that subscribe button if you've learned anything new today and i will see you next time